Okay, so we're going to go ahead and now convert from moles, okay, to atoms. So that conversion is another simple one. It's a one-step problem. And the um, great thing is you can only use that when you're converting to molecules. Now, uh, molecules are used when it's a compound, okay? So if you're using a ionic or covalent compound, you use the term molecules if you're using a single element you use the term atoms. So this is going to involve using Avogadro's number. Um, which again, if we remind, uh, to remind yourself, it is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Um, and the thing about that is it's gonna be either atoms or molecules. So we'll use atoms for now. And that is always going to equal to one mole. And it doesn't matter what the substance is, um, it's always the same thing for one mole. That never changes. So if we're talking about a single element or if we're talking about a um, compound, either ionic or covalent, that is the same constant. So um, here we're going to go ahead and use the number um, and the element 3.45 moles of iron. Okay. And we want to convert that into, since it's a single element, atoms of iron, okay? Now, um, because it's moles to atoms, we do not need to use the periodic table. So it doesn't matter if this is iron, potassium, argon, uh, helium, chlorine, doesn't matter. So we do not need the periodic table. At this point, you would then just set up your uh, typical conversion. So 3.45 moles, okay? of Fe, and our conversion factor is going to be a little different in that now moles will go on the bottom because that's what we currently have. So that'll be one mole of Fe, and then over here we'll go Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of Fe. Okay? Now, at this point, um, this is where the hardest part about this is understanding your calculator. So this unit, moles of Fe, and this unit, moles of Fe, cancel. And so you have to be able to type that into your calculator. So hopefully you've had some practice with that. Um, and like I mentioned, having one at home is fine as long as you're using a scientific one, but you gotta get prepared because you'll need to use that on the exam. So once we enter that in, the number that I got is going to be 2.08, after we round, times 10 to the 24th. And always for, never forget to use your units. So here we have atoms of Fe left over, so that should be what we write down, atoms of Fe. Okay, So um, that will be our answer for this one. Always, always, always put units, because I don't know if you're talking about a certain element or if you're talking about a compound or what at that point so please make sure you put units that's an extremely important step